When it comes to bathroom ventilation, a lot of people never take into consideration where the air is coming from to ventilate a room. We're gonna use this flow hood to test the airflow through this exhaust fan when it's running with the door closed, with the door open, and with the door closed with a door grill in place. So with the door open, we're moving 72 litres, 73 litres per second. This door happens to have a door grill pre-installed, so we're just gonna tape it up to simulate a door that does not have a door grill. And basically the exhaust fan is gonna be operating merely by moving air from underneath the door and around the, uh, around the door itself. 52 litres per second, 50. With the door closed, no door grill. If you've got problems ventilating a bathroom or a toilet, the first thing you should start thinking about doing is introducing air from the building envelope, from the home, where it can leverage off a much larger um, hole within the whole building envelope to move air through this room to ventilate it. We'll take this off. So this flow would actually equalises the pressure inside the enclosure. So we're talking 68 litres per second with a door grill. What you've really got to understand is with these exhaust fans, they can't handle an induced pressure. So you start restricting the airflow, the, the, the elevated pressure inside the room significantly reduces the amount of airflow these fans can, can move. So in a good majority of homes, people leave their window permanently open 24 by seven in their home. This is a terrible thing to do because basically you're saying that the toilet and the bathroom is outside of the building envelope. And if you're saying that the toilet and bathroom is outside of the building envelope, you then need to start insulating all the surfaces and putting door seals around your doors, which is crazy because we should be comfortable in our bathrooms and our toilets. And uh, the other issue is that if you've got a cold bathroom, you've got huge temperature swings happening in your bathroom, it's much more likely to get mould. Um, so it's important to have uh, your window closed and to put your ventilation system, your ventilation strategy on steroids. So when it is on, it's working really well for you. And when it's not on, it's not connecting you to the outside. I'm just looking at this bathroom. There seems to be quite a lot of ventilation in here. You've got ceiling vent, wall vents, exhaust fan, looks like a ventilated type of light fitting. When you look at where the actual humidity source is coming from, which is directly underneath this shower point, what you actually want is for airflow to be coming directly from the door and then straight up past the shower directly through the exhaust fan. So all of this additional ventilation, which is basically gonna be feeding the exhaust fan, is short circuiting the desirable ventilation for this room. But we're also found that around the exhaust fan, which has no draft stopper, which is super hot, but it's also missing insulation uh, it hasn't been very well insulated around the actual exhaust fan. The other things to look out for is also underneath the, um, the basin. There's a massive penetration straight through the cupboard. This seems to be a common issue in homes as well as behind kitchens, behind um, dishwashers, behind fridges. They can all have their own little intrinsic issues associated with these sorts of services that we have inside um, apartments and, and homes. The, the main issue that you've got in here is that you've got a lot of cold surfaces and one of the key things that you want to try and create with regards to ventilation in a bathroom is having a supply for the exhaust fan and having the moisture source strategically located in between the exhaust point and the, the air supply point. Yeah, when, especially when the door's closed. So right now where the fan is is actually in a really good location all you really need to do now is introduce an exhaust point from inside the building envelope. If you end up opening the, up this window in order to ventilate this area yeah. with this here, that, that's not too bad at all considering where the exhaust fan is. But if the exhaust fan was more central, yeah. right, 
and you just open this window, you're creating all this moisture here. Yeah. It's not in the direct path of where you're exhausting from. So it's important that, that you do that. And, and all of these services above your windows seem to be uninsulated. So really, one thing that you can do is pull back your tiles and, and actually put some insulation in these cavities. Hopefully you can get access to do that. And then um, just finish it off with an antimicrobial um, paint. And then, um, yeah, you shouldn't have any issues in here anymore. The bathroom had a normal fan straight up above the, the shower, which isn't a bad place to put a fan. It later got moved at some stage uh, with a um, heat lamp fan. The heat lamp fans are constantly ventilated. They need to be constantly ventilated because they produce quite a lot of heat and uh, they are susceptible to overheating and potentially be a fire risk. So we ended up getting rid of that. Um, we ended up replacing the window that was here and put a triple glaze unit in and we've put in a humidity exhaust fan. So basically this fan in this bathroom stays on 24 by seven. Whenever it detects elevated humidity, it automatically turns on and it automatically turns off when the humidity level has gone back to normal. Again, we're, we're using, we're exhausting very close to where the source is of the humidity, which is the shower. And we've got a vent in the door, which, which will enable, for at the bottom of the door, which will enable airflow to cross past where the actual humidity source has been created. So that's it in a nutshell. When it comes to ventilation, you want ventilation to be, to, to just work. You want ventilation to just work and you don't want anyone to have to think about having to ventilate an area. You basically want a village idiot to be able to ventilate an area.